वेलकम बैक टू डिफरेंशियल डायग्नोस सीरीज विद डॉक्टर अरशद नदीब अवान होप यू आर ऑल ओके होप यू आर ऑल एंजॉइंग योर लाइफ होप यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग अल्ट्रासाउंड सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्प्लिनो मेगेली एंड इट्स डिफरेंशियल मेनी अ टाइम यू कम अक्रॉस विद इन लार्ज स्प्लिन समाइम इट इज माइल्डली इन लार्ज समाइम इट हैपन्स टू बी मॉडरेटली इन लार्ज एंड समाइम इट हैपन्स टू बी ह्यूजली इन लार्ज सो एट द एंड ऑफ द डाई you have to mention which type of a differentials you are going to write on your report so there are some differential list and i'm sure i'm narrating on that and it will help you out like in case if there is a hugely enlarged spleen so you have to look for myeloproliferative disorders you have to look for the lymphoma you have to look for the malaria and if it is moderately enlarged so certain infections play a vital role certain leukemias are there hemolytic anemias may be considered and if it is slightly enlarged so it happens to be in a, a, a storage diseases like fatty liver sometime it happens to be in bacterial infections viral infection and many other so list is there and i'm going to narrate on that so start watching my video and hopefully you will be able to understand how many differential we can give in the conclusion splenomegaly is a condition when on the ultrasound spleen enlarges more than 13 cm from 13 to 15 cm enlargement would be considered as slightly enlarged spleen and slightly enlarged spleen could be because of infections first of all you have to look for the mild conditions like viral infection including hepatitis infectious mononucleosis and bacterial infection septicemia brucellosis typhoid also account for the slightly enlarged spleen and in tuberculosis there will also be slightly enlarged spleen in rickettsial and fungal infections like histoplasmosis spleen will also be within the normal within the range of 13 to 15 cm in sarcoidosis amyloidosis and rheumatoid arthritis spleen will also respond and in systemic lupus erythematosus there will also be slightly enlarged spleen as far as generalized conditions are concerned like in lymphoma and chronic myeloid leukemia in malaria and kalaza there is a, a enlargement of the spleen also but it may vary you can see mild to moderate and even sometime huge spleen Uh, in these conditions moderately enlarged spleen moderately enlarged spleen is considered to be from 13 cm into 18 cm if spleen appears within that range it will be considered as moderately enlarged spleen so moderately enlarged spleen can be seen in storage diseases like uh, hemochromatosis like fatty liver hemolytic anemia also causes moderately enlarged spleen in portal hypertension the spleen will enlarge moderately and in leukemias but so far the other conditions are concerned like as i mentioned earlier chronic myeloid leukemias and myelofibrosis malaria kalazar gucher disease and lymphoma these are the condition in which the spleen will either mildly be enlarged or moderately be enlarged or sometime it will also appear as huge enlarged spleen if the spleen is enlarged more than 18 and reaches up to 22 or 25 it would be considered as hugely enlarged spleen and it could be seen in chronic myeloid leukemias myelofibrosis in malaria in kalazar gucher disease and in lymphoma in all these six conditions the spleen will be hugely enlarged while scanning if you come across there is if there is enlargement of the spleen must compare with all these uh, differentials if it is slightly enlarged or moderately enlarged or uh, hugely enlarged but in general always keep in mind that in, in during the infections in rheumatoid arthritic conditions in leukemia and in storage diseases lymphoma and malaria the spleen will definitely be enlarged and it will respond to all these diseases